This video is part of the Iron Orchid Designs Holiday Collection Release Playlist. If you want to see other videos from the playlist, please click the link in the description below. Hello, thanks for joining me. My name is Shannon. I'm with Creating with Shannon at Pick and Booth Vintage. So I started off with some quick set resin and I poured it in the bobbles mold. This is from last year. They are absolutely amazing. Um, then I painted it black and then I flipped through the fairy Merry Christmas transfers and I found a perfect one to fit this this bobble. Look how cute. Um, now it's a little dark for me, so I decided what I was gonna do was I was gonna add some pigment. Now this is shimmer, which I love, and I'm just gonna simply brush it on the black areas. And what it's gonna do is gonna make this fairy just pop and look just amazing. I'm gonna add a different shimmer color on top just so it makes it stand out just a little bit much. Then I'm gonna go ahead and seal it with a clear varnish and that way I know everything is protected and it's not gonna come off. Look at that. Okay, so what I decided to do is I'm just gonna make a bunch more. I just love them, so I figured I might as well have one in all different sizes. So I went ahead and poured some more resin into the uh, Bobbles mold, painted them black because the black really stands out and looks good when you put the pigment powders on top. After I got them painted, I went ahead and flipped through the Fairy Mary catalog of transfers and I picked the different sizes and the different ones that I thought would look the best on each shape. Now, um, this Fairy Mary transfers, they come in small, medium, and then there's some big ones. And this it's just packed full of different whimsical, cute, detailed fairies. So now the bobbles have a lot of details on them. So when you're rubbing, you got to make sure that you kind of hit all different sides and all the different crevices because um, you want to make sure it comes off nicely. Uh, they won't be perfect, but that's not the look that we're going for here. Basically, all I care about is getting the fairy on. So after I pick up the transfer sheet, I'm just going to use my fingers, rub it on, use transfer, uh, the, the clear cellophane and rub it in. Um, I'm going to do this on all of the ornaments until I get them all with a fairy. Um, then what I need to do is I need to make sure that they're all on and staying on. Then I'm going to take some black paint and I'm going to simply paint around each fairy because when I go back and I put the pigment on all the ornaments, I want the pigment to be just around the fairy or this here in this instance, the Christmas tree. So the designs will pop. Now look at how pretty this green is on here. Watch this, the pink and the green on the, with this fairy and the red with the Christmas tree. It is, they are just so pretty. Um, after I get all of these pigments on, what I'm going to do is I am going to take some, it's called contour lining, and I'm just going to line every part around the fairy and the Christmas tree, and it will dry clear. It's just going to make the design stand out a little bit. But before I do, I'm going to go ahead and seal them with the um, varnish. So here you can see that I'm taking the contour, and I'm not on the exact transfer I'm actually going a little bit around on the outside of the transfer just because I want to make sure it illuminates the way it the fairy looks all right so now I want to show you I'm not gonna do this for all the ornaments but I want to show you how you can make them 3d so I'm just pouring some quick set resin taking a piece of ribbon and laying it right in the resin and then pouring not pouring <laughs> putting the one that is done already on top and so when that quick set resin on the other side dries and I remove it from the mold, it's going to be a 3D ornament. So uh, let me get this second one in and let's remove them and look at this. I pop it out and it's already ready to go. Now all I need to do is just paint it black and put some pigment on the back to make it balanced. And let's look at this one. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. You don't have to do this, but some people wa might want a backside to your ornament. So this is just a quick, easy option without having to drill holes or um, glue. This way you know it's on there and it's not going anywhere. So I'm going to shimmer this up just a little bit and look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Now, of course, it won't be for everybody, um, but the shimmer I love. And you can do it in any color you want. You can paint them, you know, white and just put the fairy on, whatever you want to do. But look at how cute these came out. Everyone is different. Everyone has a little bit of different shape, a different fairy, and different pigment colors on them. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of making the Fairy Mary resin ornaments with shimmer. <laughs> Have a great day.